I think if they uh, base the game more on like, the player perspective instead of the money perspective, then the game would be much better. Like uh, when Vermelos first came out, they had a whole format where they were good. At, well, it was about the end of the format, they were really good, topping everywhere. And then Banlist came and they weren't touched. And then they had another format where they were doing really good until other decks came out. But the reason they weren't touched was mainly because they're still making money off of the recent Abyss Rising packs and everything that came out of them, and they had more support coming out. So they didn't touch them. That way more people could play them and get the new cards out of the next set, and they keep making money. But I think it'd be better if they, you know, see what's topping and what's what's being used the most and say, oh, let's go ahead and cut this off so that the game can be better for all players. Well, I would like to see the pace of the to slow down a little bit, probably go back to another format. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of broken decks coming out, you know, and a lot of people don't have the money to pay for it, so I would like to see some of the cards, you know, reprinted. Also, I would like to see uh, I would like to see judgment and fate be hit spell books automatically, man. Uh, that deck's too broken. Um, also eat dragons, you know, it's not a real fair matchup for people that don't have money, even though I have money, but you know. Just give everybody a chance to catch up, you know. And I would like to see some of the old school cards come back, like uh, Yada Garatsu or, or uh, hell, just any cards. But uh, that's my perspective. Probably the biggest change that I'd like to see would be prize support. Um, just the prizes don't feel too worth it. Uh, they did like. Even though even the game's supposed to be more for a younger age for a lot of it, like the idea behind it, uh, if they did like cash for big tournaments or even just better stuff like high dollar computers um, or something that you could really feel like you were getting out of it and strive you more for winning, I guess. I don't know. Um, I would like to see Konami get more support uh, as far as the players go, as far as prizes. Um, getting out coverage, and as far as the, what I mean with the prizes is, I need to do like ARG is doing when you try to get out um, cash, like they're doing magic. Cash is just drawing more players, more people will be willing to travel. Because who wants to travel to a YCS? It's fun, you know I'm saying, meeting up with your friends you haven't seen in a while, but at the same time, you're spending money on your flights. Flights run between $300 and $600 to get to a place, and all you get for winning is like an Xbox or something. You have to need to make it worth traveling as far as that goes, as far as prizes go. Make it more kid friendly, honestly. Uh, Cause I mean, look around. I mean, you can just scan the camera around. It's nothing but a bunch of fat old people. I'm just kidding. But uh, no, seriously, this this game is not kid friendly, as the commercials and people try to make it seem. You go to a big event, you got nothing but douchebags with flat bill hats at the top tables who are only about money, money, money. I mean. Granted, I'm a, I'm a pretty cool dude, I think. Uh, keyword, I think. Uh, but, I mean, at least I don't like disrespect people. I mean, that's that's the main thing. I think the disrespect in the game of you give needs to leave. I mean, the prize, of course, is there. It's just uh, it's your, if your shop's willing to, to do the right thing and do right with the prize for it. But uh, as far as, like, big tournaments, I like to see some more prize support like Magic. Like they have some some really good ass prize support. Like say uh first place gets like at the big events. If there's a four, uh, 10k tournament, first place might get like four or five thousand dollars. Third, blah blah blah. You know so and so forth. Let us have some cash tournaments so we can. I mean so I mean because nine times out of ten if you have a cash tournament it's gonna. The, the, the money's gonna go filter back into the game, so you really ain't losing nothing. I want to see the meta become more available. Uh, we have a lot of secret rares floating around that makes the meta viable. Um, I want to see a bit more balanced decks, but I think that's kind of a universal view. Uh, pretty much make it so everyone can have access to the meta instead of having to drop a K. Make it more about your tournament. Prize support instead of the deck you want. And also, you know, keep the game uh, market a little bit less volatile. I really don't, I really want to avoid what they did with Tachyon, where they released so few packs that people can get a hold of very easily. But the big change I want to see is the game to just slow down in general. It's, it's getting too quickly, too quickly, it's getting too fast, and we can't... I guess I can't find the words for it. We can't find our night balance with it. Everything is just too fast with it. I mean, the best way to slow it down is to go back to where staples are limited. 
and you can't have three MSTs, you can't have three magic cylinders, where cars actually can get their effects off. And if it's a back and forth like that, the game's slower. The game format is simply playing the value of cards. That's basically consider the value of cards in general. So like when when the format changes and stuff on Tim Sally, it fluctuates the price just as if it just came out or you know, a car can come out be five dollars and two weeks it'll be a hundred. Or a car can come out and be two hundred dollars and two weeks it'll be fifty. Like Vampire Lord, for example, it was like two bucks and now they're going for like forty or something stuff like that. People just trolled me. You know, they just do stuff like that. Cards don't really determine their value over time. They lose their value and they gain their value. So it's kind of like a gamble, just like going to the boat and wasting your money because you don't know what you're getting. So, it's basically it's how the format is probably how the cards use their value and how they get their value. Because everybody's going to broke up this game. Them to print cards for older sets. You know, like some of the, the mutt decks that, like, you've shown on your channel. Crystal Beast, uh, Mega Fan Beast. Cards that don't suck, even though the new ones came out of the set, they're not great. I don't know, like, something to make the game more fun, because going to a tournament and seeing Dragon, 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 Spellbook, Spellbook, Dragon, Spellbook. What's fun about that? And the game was supposed to be fun. One thing, uh, of course, one of the, the most common thing you hear is better price support. I can agree with that, but one thing I really want to see is better, uh, better things done with locals. I mean, yeah, you have big events like YCS and all that, and you see them trying to get the uh, get locals more involved with the Yu-Gi-Oh Day and stuff like that. But I kind of want to see this a little bit more, give us a little bit more incentive to attend those locals, other than just packs, and that's about it. I'm really tired of playing the same decks so over and over again. They should really make it more balanced between you know, all the cards they have in the entire game rather than just two or three things. I mean, I don't know. It's you can't really complain about the game itself. It's just they have some more support for things that just usually just suck. <laughs> I, I'm tired of seeing dragons, spellcasters, and other shit. Well, if I had to pick one thing to change, it'd probably be the prize support. If there was more, uh, if there was more incentive to play. That I think we would get a lot more players. Like around here, there's only like 25 people playing. But I bet if we like gave out cash prizes along with card stuff, we probably get a lot more players. Like there's not just here, but all over. One of them is I wish Konami would balance the ban list to where that Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't so sacky, to where you could actually play Yu-Gi-Oh and not play You Can't Do Anything behind an Ophion or a Dragon Sack or Prophecy. And then another thing is I want better prize support that makes me want to play rather than just a mat. Better price support and a better balance would be good. I think uh, Konami needs to increase price support considerably since Yu-Gi-Oh! We, we've seen that we can't play for cash tournaments, but back when UDE was around, we played for a better, better price support. They used to have boxes for top eight of regionals, things like that. They give out better prizes. Um, I think what uh, ARG is doing with their open is where the direction that Konami needs to go with. Uh, like they're giving points out for a special tournament. Um, they're giving. Uh, cash prizes. Out. It's not really cash prizes, but it's cash value prizes like TVs, trips, stuff like that. But I think when you top thirty two a big tournament, I think you should get more than like a mat and a title type thing. I think you should get more than that. Yeah, like when you, when you top a region, you get a debt box and a mat that's going to be lowered in price within two months. I mean, I think you should get like more product or third par thir third party products such as like other trips or stuff like that. Gift cards, at least. Well, I think that, that's today. It's most multifaceted thing because, um, yes, prices. Because it, this game is pretty much become a money game. You don't have the money. You're not be really doing much unless you play some cheap budget deal like stun, like skill drain stun, something like that. Um, the coverage is always horrible for us. I don't know why. I mean, I, I see that a lot of like other countries, that coverage is minimal, but it's up quick. With us, it's like I do understand they have more detail, but sometimes it's like days and hours on end before we get a lot of coverage. So we need. We need, we need better organization with that. We know that a YC is coming up. We should know that this is what we have to do. Um, also, I'd like to see it be more, uh, it needs to be more well-rounded. Like I said, we're pretty much, there's like maybe two to maybe three decks in the whole format that, that are actually doing well. Not decent, but well enough to where everybody's trying to play it. So you know that the demographic and bigger tournament is going to be those three decks. So we need 
I mean, and I guess it's, it's pretty much our fault because we need more originality, but we, we need something else that says that you don't have to play these, these three decks to be good. Um, we need something that's more kid-friendly as well. I think Dragon Duels is awesome, but we need something a little more kid-friendly as far as the beginners. Because Dragon Duels, to be honest, they play just as well as the main competitors. Uh, we need more girls. We definitely need more girls. I mean, ain't no offense to some of the girls that play, but most of the girls that play aren't exactly cute. And I'm not saying we need pretty girls and everything, but the thing about it, when you go to a football game, there's, pretty, there's gonna be hot chicks there. I think we need more girls there. I'm gonna try to uh, solicit some uh, UVL cheerleaders. We'll work on that later. I'll get back to y'all on that. Um, and we just need more pride in the game. The game has become so shitty and so sloppy that people are falling out of it. They're playing just for the hell of it, or they're not playing at all. Um, like me, myself, I don't play nearly as much as I did. The only reason why I'm even playing is because of my friends. The game, just, there's not enough pride in the game to make this one continue. Konami does not seem like they're for the consumer. And that's kind of shitty because in fact they, they make their money off of us, the consumer. That's it.